What's up saints, God bless you. This is Brian Love has a name YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going to go through another August 2024 prophetic word. This time it's one that the Lord has spoken to, Nate Johnston. Nate and his wife, Christy Johnson, have a wonderful ministry. Their information is down in the description as always here. We honor, we love the servants of God. And so please check out their ministry. I know that they are very active on Instagram among other areas as well. And so please do so into the ministry, pray for them, connect with them as the Holy Spirit leads you. All right, go ahead and hit the like if you wouldn't mind. We're going to get started because this message is a little bit lengthy and it's all good. All right, so let's go ahead and just pray for a moment and just invite the Lord, rather invite ourselves into the presence of the Lord. Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit. <laughs> oh God, we love you. Thank you, Father. Please do cascade and ripple and flow through us, Lord God, so that it can all be transmitted to your people who are there, listening for your words, eager to hear always what you have to say through all your wonderful people, men, women, servants of God. Lord, thank you for the variety of ministries and anointings that you have here on the earth. May your name be honored and glorified, Master and King. We love you and we praise you in Jesus name. Whew. Amen. Okay, Saints, I'm going to get started. Once again, hit that like if you wouldn't mind. Do subscribe to this channel, Love Has a Name. And don't forget, I do have a second channel that is specifically for praying in tongues for different topics. So the link is in the description of that. Please click there and subscribe. All right. Thank you, Saints. And let's go ahead and get started with this word. The title is August, a month of pushback after setback. Nate begins by saying, I feel that August is a significant month of breakthrough and pushback. And the Lord has been rolling out the blueprint of his heart. Oh, thank you, Lord. Whoa. Ah, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. The Lord has been rolling out the blueprint of his heart for those who are hungry and willing to take it and be movers and shakers to see significant change in areas of conflict and to forcefully put up blockades against the enemy. Whoa. That's just the intro, saints, but I already see. Look at the Lord. He's talking about blueprints in this. That already confirms the that goes with the word with the word wisdom divine wisdom that god has been releasing we've had prophetic words from ivan atia i've shared personal testimonies already before the words were even coming out of having downloads of wisdom and whatnot and now we're hearing it again saints that means this month of august is a a pivotal a tremendous month for us his people saints i pray you are sensitive to the Lord's nudgings, to his guidance, because there are things he's shifting around. Thank you, Lord. A lot of us are already had a word, and I shared it last a few days ago, where the Lord was speaking to her that it is time to come out of the waiting and arise and to not be, or rather to be aware of the rearranging that is happening. Okay. So lots of the things that even I'm going through, I can testify of this. And so I want to highlight that for you because, again, I don't know what you all are doing in your personal lives, your personal walk with the Lord. Of course, I bless you and I pray that he guides you and that you are successful in Jesus name for his glory. But just notice what the Lord is saying here. He's rolling out blueprints of his heart, meaning there are plans from heaven that he is releasing to people. And he literally just said here, for those who are hungry, Okay, and willing to take it. Did you notice that? So if someone hands you something, you need to do something with it. You need to act on it. All right. So literally in yesterday's video, the Barry Wunsch video, I mentioned that the Lord was showing me some really unique ways that I wasn't aware of. And maybe some, maybe a lot of people are, maybe some of you are as well. A lot of ways to actually save on just everyday things, you, you know, that you're buying and just it multiplies with with other types of like financial rewards and little by little it can help save you because obviously the economy is not doing well because of the imposter and the imposter cp okay biden and kamala and so again 
these are just little things that the Lord is doing to help us, but we have to be willing to take it and do with it. All right. I also mentioned to you something else about a possible um, business opportunity that may be helpful in bringing up a little bit of revenue for you. And so I'll be talking about that later on, not in this video, but in the coming weeks or so, as I myself am walking into that first, because I want from experience to be able to come and share with you. All right. Uh, you don't have to be afraid of like scams and all this stuff, because number one, it's the Lord. I'm telling you, it's the Lord who brought this to my attention. The Lord would not have me doing anything regarding scams and spams and and fake stuff that that is wrong and doesn't work etc so when i do share it guess what you're gonna need you're gonna need the same thing you need when you hear a prophetic word an open heart you have to be willing to understand and you just have to take a step of faith and guess what you don't even have to do it if you don't want to okay I, i'm just gonna share some stuff because there's gonna be free stuff you can do and there's stuff that may be at another type of level but that'll be completely up to you, all right? Even today, I've been rejoicing because of the things that little by little I'm understanding how in the long run, in the long term, it will be a blessing, all right? So I will be passing that along. I just wanted to make mention of that because the Lord is confirming it and I'm excited and I have to point it out to you, all right? So that you may not miss out and on a possible blessing of the Lord, okay? That's all, let's keep going. Nate says, over the past weekend, I spent some time on my face before the Lord for the next month. And he impressed a few things, oh, a few things, thank you, Lord, in my heart for the month of August. Now, we have a couple of bullet points here, so I'm just going to read them right through. All right, here's the first one. We would have to decide whether to move forward with greater faith in the decisions and direction we have been given or stay in fear. Wow, look at that. God has literally just confirmed what he was flowing out of me by the Holy Spirit. And I know that every now and then there are people out there who think, oh, Brian's just rambling. Well, I guess not the channel for you. I want to be led. And so I flow as I am led. All right, praise the Lord. I thank you that you're on my side. Hallelujah. The next bullet point. We would have to stand up this month and press back against the onslaught or stay defeated. We would either expend our oil on meaningless battles and chatter or use it to take down the giants around us. Wow, that's good. We would either be a voice for the kingdom or bury our heads in the sand and see no change. The next one, there is an effortless expansion that will come with the steps of risk. Wow, that fits so perfectly with what I was just talking about as well expansion the lord wants to expand borders um, i was just noticing today did you notice with diana larkin how he now has is having her do episodes of signs wonders miracles and sharing other people's words do you see that that's a new venture that i haven't had a chance to chat with her but i was just thinking about today it's like wow lord you took her in a different direction and she had to allow herself to to expand the way the Lord wanted her to do that. And so with me, the second YouTube channel, it wasn't my plan, but it was a download from the Lord, a direction and guidance, a blueprint, and he even gave me the name overnight in the spirit, like I shared with you before, and so I acted on it. Okay, so now I have a handful of videos there, six, seven or so, and we've just crossed over 800 subscribers. Praise the Lord, in just about two weeks. All the glory goes to God, and I'm so grateful to know that I am in his divine will all right so i don't want you to miss out this is why i spend time breaking it down because if you can understand and you can hear from someone that that is being honest and transparent and genuine with you then you can have the courage to lean in and allow yourself to be led by the lord in what he wants you to do okay saints it's it's out of love okay love has a name it's jesus but it's love that drives me to to take excuse me, to take the time and speak to you and teach. All right, that, that's, that's all. Let's keep going. Ah, thank you, Lord. Okay, next one. Or let's read that last one one more time. There is an effortless expansion that will come with the steps of risk. God is conducting a major reshuffling of roles. 
Hmm, sounds like rearranging, like Lana Vosser <laughs> heard from the Lord, right? <clears throat> uh, God is conducting a major reshuffling of roles, and this month will mark the beginning. Ah, there's a number eight. August is the eighth month, new beginnings. This will mark the beginning of a new wave of mobilization for the church. God is inviting us into greater definition of what we are called to do and be a voice for and clearing away the rest. There is a restoration coming to fallen soldiers and their reactivation. Wow. From this month onwards, God is inviting the prophetic movement into a new realm or space not currently occupied. Whoa. Oh, man, I, I sure hope the Lord is talking about like the ascension realm and, and whatnot, because that's the oh, thank you, Lord. I guess we'll see. Next, the Lord says heavyweights will emerge to spearhead areas where there has been a void of the voice of the Lord. Wow. Grassroot movement will spring up with a simple yes as people embark on faith journeys for Jesus. Whoa, man, that's awesome. Okay, we're going to go to the next section. The next one has a subtitle of Reset in the Secret Place. Nate says, As I continue to sit in the presence, I heard a song play in my spirit. Revive Us, it was called, by Robin Mark, which is a powerful song of revival. The lyrics kept washing over me like it was a reset of focus and vision. Quote, I hear the voice of one crying. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight in the wilderness. I asked the Lord, what are you saying? And he said, I am resetting the hearts and purposes of those who have been under the noise of the world <coughs> and have been disarmed and disabled. I am stripping away the distraction and confusion and leading them back to the purity of their calling and their purpose. My God, there is a reset taking place right now where God is exposing the diversions to the call and removing all strings, wires, ropes, and chains to the counterfeit calling that fights the noise with noise. And God is restoring and healing hearts that have been cluttered and sidetracked from the real mission. Then Nate says, I saw them in the secret place on their faces. And fresh oil was flowing from where the well had become dry. As the oil flowed, a new unction began to surge through the weary, and those who were disarmed and disabled rose with a fresh fire and focus. Oh, saints, we haven't typed anything in the comments. Maybe you have, but let's go ahead and type this. Lord, grant me fresh fire, and divine focus. Oh, Lord, I speak that over myself right now. All right, next up header, backed into a corner. Then the Lord took me into a time of intercession over the body of Christ, and in a vision, I saw what had been taking place in the spirit, especially over the last few months. All right, now we have a couple more bullet points. This is the first one. I saw... <coughs> I saw people being pushed into a place of confinement by the enemy where it felt like in every situation and circumstance there was no way out. Next, I saw the impossibilities on every side and the end of the road signs around, around those who had been pursuing the faith journey. Next, I saw the extreme mental battle in the months of June and July where the breaking point reached a whole new level of intensity and the taunts of warfare were deafening. Next, I saw the decisions in front of people. Do we choose faith or retreat? But I'm tired and I just need to rest, many have said. Next, I saw the torment of shame, condemnation, and failure looming, like they had messed up along the way and were not going to see what God pr promised, what God promised fulfilled. Man, lastly, the Lord showed him, voices begin to shut down. 
Nate began to see voices shut down and go into the internal disillusion of God-given assignments because the pressing and bullying had become so severe. Oh, my Lord. All right, the last subheader. Heaven is shouting, enough is enough. Now the pushback begins. Wow, praise the Lord. Well, I can't go on without reminding you, as the Lord is reminding me now, that Pastor Manuel Johnson, Manny Johnson from Mega Praise Ministries, did hear from the Lord that in June there would be pushback and major pushback and that it wouldn't continue into July and August and September. And it's possible October, but I don't remember that exactly. I did a YouTube short on it, so maybe you can go check it out. But the Lord had said this. Now look at the Lord confirm his word. All right. Praise the Lord. Okay. This last section says this. But then I saw it, says Nate. The enemy had overplayed his hand with a forceful and obvious move because something switched in this state of extreme pressing. The people of God began to rise up. Oh, oh my Lord, thank you, Jesus. The people of God began to rise up in their state of extreme onslaught. They found a fire and fight in them. They didn't even know they had. Oof. Like a hidden reserve of courage, and with a jail-breaking anointing, they stood up and said, No! In the face of the enemy, in the face of the intimidating spirit, the tide shifted. I felt like the cloud of witnesses was standing in heaven, interceding over the church right now, saying, Enough is enough. Rise up, church. Oh my Thank you, Lord. Saints, let's put that in the comments. Enough is enough. Just type it from a personal perspective. Enough is enough. Add some exclamation points. And if you want to add something else, go ahead and type to the enemy, I say, and then put it, put uppercase, no. All right. To the enemy, I say, no. All right. This is part of you pushing back. This is part of you doing what the Word of God says in James, where it says to resist the devil. Now, don't forget the first part before that. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, that comes after, and he will flee from you. So first you submit yourself to God, because you can't resist the devil on your own strength. People who are not saved, people who are not born again, people who don't have the Holy Spirit, they are powerless against the demonic. Powerless. They have no protection. It is only when you become born again and the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of you. And you begin to walk out your salvation. You work it out. And, and when I say work it out, don't take it the wrong way. Okay, if anyone's religious out there, the Bible says work out your own salvation. It doesn't mean you save yourself. It means you walk out and you continue to walk in the awareness that you have been saved. You do the right thing before the Lord. You walk in righteousness. You you cleanse your thought life. You It hopefully leads to you cleansing the way you speak and then your actions, etc., etc. Okay? A process. A process. Walk it out. Okay? And so, what was I saying, Lord? <laughs> yes. So when you resist the enemy, you can only do it with the Holy Spirit. Well, guess what? All of you watching me, You've accepted Jesus. At, you've received and accepted Jesus at one point. You're saved. Move on from that place. You, none of you should be in the place where you think, oh God, am I really saved? Oh, I don't want to lose my salvation. Oh, does God love me? Oh, is he mad at me? If you are there, I want to tell you that you are allowing the attacks of the enemy, the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions to overwhelm you and you're not rejecting those thoughts. Okay, I believe it's 2 Corinthians. I believe that's the right book, 2 Corinthians 10.5, which tells us that we need to cast down all vain imaginations that rise themselves up against the knowledge of Christ. We need to take them captive, these thoughts, 
to the obedience of Christ. That means you need to do your part. So if you hear something and you know it's contrary to the word of God because you read the word of God and because you seek the Lord and you listen to anointed ministers and prophets and pastors, etc. to know who God is, this way it becomes easy to know when you're hearing something, feeling something that is not in alignment with the nature, the character, the ways of God. Don't be like the Israelites. You knew his acts only. Be like Moses who knew God's ways. When you know his ways, you can say that thought's not from God. I reject that in the name of Jesus. All right. This, this is how you do warfare. This is how you stop the enemy before he even comes in. And so you won't have those thoughts. All right. And for those of you who are having trouble still, I recommend you to read Romans chapter 8 aloud over yourself over and over and over again. That's a good idea, Lord. Wow. Okay. I just had an image of someone standing before the mirror speaking it so you can do that where you're reading the word and you're looking at yourself in the mirror or maybe you want to put the audio bible on youtube or an app and listen to it on repeat and look at yourself in the mirror and try to repeat what's being said all right get it into your soul because the truth of the word of god is in your spirit man because holy spirit is one, one spirit with you first corinthians six seventeen tells us this you speak it so that your soul, which is your mind, will, and emotions become saturated and illuminated and overwhelmed and permeated with the truth of the living God, of who you are. Even Romans 8 begins, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And it goes on to tell you who you really are. So abide in that. Do it if you're having issues with the mind in your identity. All right. Whew, thank you, Lord. All right. Let's finish up, saints. <clears throat> uh, hopefully you're liking this. Please hit like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And now let's continue. It says right now, many are feeling this crushing and pressing, but through it, it is awakening a fire in you. And it's awakening a fire in you that the enemy will have wished he hadn't. <laughs> the press back is already beginning. Eyes are opening. Veils are being removed. And the sleepy church is stirring. This assignment has been the spirit of bondage and control sent to confront the freedom of the spirit breaking out over your life. But I keep hearing 2 Corinthians 3.17. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Because this is a season where the promise before you is go, run, pursue, stretch your tent pegs, expand, <laughs> whoa, and move. Okay, let me read that again. This is a season where the promise before you is go, run, pursue, stretch your tent pegs, expand, move. Hmm. Wow, that goes in line with what we were talking about at the beginning. Don't be afraid of new things, new opportunities. All right? The Lord's trying to help you, but He can't if you don't believe. He can't if you don't, if you aren't open and embrace and do your part. All right? So now the Lord says, <clears throat> We are in a time where the enemy is contesting every freedom, and he is trying to establish and normalize control and limitations. But you will not come under that Jezebel agenda in Jesus' name. You weren't created to live under ceilings, but to break them. Oh, man, I love that. You weren't created to accept and tolerate demonic agendas that strip you of your authority, but rather to shatter them. You will soon see <coughs> that you aren't stuck or limited as you thought, but God is making a way for you in every area you thought was beyond aid. In the months to come, those who were the most pressed crushed, bullied, and oppressed by the enemy will be the ones who release the most powerful roar that will silence the enemy and shut down his plans. We will see those who have been pushed beyond limits leap over the barricades of darkness and rally the church to fight, not hide, to stand up, and not sleep this one off. 
And lastly, the Lord says, if you feel stuck, exhausted, and pressed beyond your limits today, Nate is speaking here. He says, I decree the freedom of the Lord over you now in Jesus' name. I command every stop to be removed and every source of frustration blocking your movement to be exposed and disarmed in the name of Jesus. Being backed into a corner only makes you want to run into the enemy's camp and wreak havoc. So do it. Praise. Prophesy. Stand up. Rise up. Move in faith regardless of what you see. And that's the mic drop. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Saints, let me know what you thought about this specific word. It was good. It was very encouraging. And there's a lot of confirmation, which I hope you got it because I try to point it out to you. Amen. Now, don't forget Nate and his ministry information is down below. So please connect with him and subscribe. Follow so as Holy Spirit leads you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as I am here coming to you. Yes, even with a full time job, very demanding. And I've been here here uh, here with you. <coughs> How long has it been, Lord? What? Almost two years, uh, almost three years, almost daily. I've been here. Uh, looks like my channel just crossed 1,300 videos that I've uploaded. So I, you, you can do the math there. And then and now the Lord uh, has me with this second channel. So, yes, I take the time to be here. I know that 99.9% .9 of you appreciate it. Uh, and the rest of the people who are just spying and whatnot, well, the anointing is getting on you anyway. One day you will get it. And uh, in advance, I forgive you. For those of you who, who like to, that's an interesting term, Lord. Huh. Hate watch. That, that's what I just heard the Lord say. For those of you who like to, I didn't know what I was going to say after that. And then the word came, the term came to me. For those who like to hate watch. I love you. I bless you. I forgive you. <laughs> and none of your thoughts, opinions, and thumbs down, and comment, and religious all that stuff, it, it doesn't change me. It's not going to change this ministry. It's not going to change my walk with God. All it's going to do is show me that I'm being effective because the enemy is being stirred up in certain vessels he has out there. That's, what I'm gonna, that's all I'm going to say. Don't forget to check out the second channel. Go through the link. Don't try to look me up on uh, the YouTube search because there's already a scammer. Maybe there's more who knows already pretending to be me copying my name because they themselves for whatever reason feel like they want to impersonate someone and try to use their influence to to sell like quantum financial blah 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 and all this mess that is just not right shame on them so make sure you go through the links to my telegram channel you go through the link to get to my second youtube channel two different things there this way you will be uh you'll be going through the right door and you end up in the right place, all right? Can't make it any easier for you. You just got to obey that one simple rule. Go through the link. Love you all. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend or week whenever you're watching this. And is there anything else, Lord? Just keep praying. Keep praying for DJT. Yes, use the Praying in Tongues videos. Share them um, on your social media and continue to do them. And so I need to go and, yeah, I need to go and record <laughs> the, the two for this weekend. So... God bless you all. I'll see you soon in the next video.